Hi, this is Edward Longstreet with Belmont Productions, and today I'm going to showcase some things I found, or I've recently found, and of course acquired. So right here I have a 2002 Panasonic two-motor system uh, sweeper. And of course it's got the uh, bucket container thing in it, as well as this unique uh, hose system here. If I can get actually get it off. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's stuck. Yeah, that's stuck. So I'll have to mess with that a little later. But yeah, I recently found this alongside a. Uh, let me go over here. A 1998 Eureka The Boss Mighty Might uh, canister sweeper. It actually takes a bag and it's a little black one and actually works real good. I know you can barely see it. I'm trying to light on that. There we go. As you can see, it's a little black sweeper, but it works good as long as I the uh, Panasonic there. Uh, sorry about the low lighting, but uh, yeah, they both work. Uh, yeah, someone just tossed it right on the curb, and I was walking with my mom, and yeah, I ended up picking that up. So, and over here I have a uh, 2000. Actually, it's the year 2000. Uh, Concord Airflex bike. That's for sale. I'm asking 20 D for it, as in dollars. Okay, over here. Actually, I need to stand a little back. Over here, I have a old Sears Craftsman Toolbox, circa 1970s, 1980s. So a while back, I uh, I made a video about buying new master locks for my toolboxes, and these was one of them. As you can see here, it's got the uh, master lock number three on here. That was actually the one of the packaged master locks that I actually showcased in the video, and this was the toolbox for it. I got it locked at the moment, as well as I got some BS on it, so I recently acquired that from a clean-out I did. I was helping clean out a garage, and it was about to be tossed alongside some of the tools that were in it, so I took it, so that's pretty awesome. Might actually make a video, separate video, just on that and showcase some of them tools. Some of them are actually very cool. Some of them are snap-ons and... uh Craftsman's over here. I got an old mach wooden machinist box. It's got the drawers and stuff. It's actually got the wooden thing down there that actually covers this. I got to actually do work on this, but this is a really old machinist box, probably from like the 1950s, maybe 1960s. I highly doubt it. I think it's more 50s. I know it's got the um, skeleton lock, which it actually had two keys with it, which that was a plus. I know that thing needs a lot of restoration. I got to actually do that, take care of that one of these days. Okay, now for the big one here, I have, let me shine this light here. I have a 1966 Ford Fairlane 500 four door front uh, drivers and passenger doors. And I actually got this from a clean out when I was cleaning out a shed that I was going to demolish. It was for, from a neighbor of mine. He wanted his shed demolished, and he asked me to clean it out, and I can have whatever out of it. And I found these in there, and from what the story went, it went to a 66 Ford Fairlane 500. I don't know if it was the standard Fairlane or the XL, but it did went to the four-door sedan model version. So, yeah, these are... Uh, Doors are actually somewhat solid. I actually got to do some work on them. Um, I got to do some work on them, but they're actually solid. They work. They have their glass in them, and the glass bangs, which are over here, they work. So and these are pretty cool. Oh, sorry. I thought I'd show this and have a pretty nice little set here. I thought I showcased some of this since it's been a while since I made a video. I know I've been posting videos on there, but you know, I thought I'd show some more, so 
and I'm going to have some more videos posted up probably here pretty soon. I'm actually going to showcase a, uh, I can turn this off now, showcase some, uh, a car that I built. I built a one-seater car, uh, with a motor. It's made out of wood and as long as I had a motor, uh, I'm going to showcase that here soon, uh, and then pretty soon I'm going to showcase some old Bell telephone equipment. Some of them date from the early 1900s to the 1970s, or 1980s, excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm also going to showcase some antique uh, cameras, and I am also uh, may even showcase some old 78 records that I have recently acquired. They're actually old early Edison records dating from the 19, early 1900s to around 1930-ish. I want to say that, 1930-ish. But, yeah, I thought I'd make this video and showcase some of the finds and some of the stuff. So, I told you about the 2002 Panasonic uh, two-motor system uh, sweeper. I'm sorry about I can't get that funny hose thing up, but it's tricky. I showed the Concorde Airflex, the year 2000 model, and the 98 Eureka Boss sweeper. The Craftsman Toolbox, uh, yeah, machine, well, antique machine box, and the 66 Fairlane doors. Oh, I, uh, not the least, I want to actually show you something. So right here, I have a 1962 Zenith AM, FM, radio, wooden radio, tube radio. I actually had this for about a few years, and I actually wanted to make a video last year about it, but I never had the time. Let alone, plus I wanted to make goofy videos of uh, breaking shit and stuff. Sorry for my language. Uh, but, yeah, I actually had this a few years ago. I actually bought it from a pawn shop several years ago, and it's a really cool old vintage radio. I actually use it every now and then in the garage when I'm working in here. So I thought I'd showcase that alongside well the other stuff. And I thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you.